Unlike other transparent conductive materials requiring expensive photolithographic masking or laser ablation to pattern, CASM's agent can be successfully patterned using a simple and safe wet etch process. Agent's exclusive patterning process is as simple as print, etch, done. Select equipment is needed to get started in automated etching. A wet processing line etcher, wide enough for your intended film sheet size, having integrated inline filters, oscillating nozzles, and independent upper and lower nozzle pressure control. An air-cooled industrial water chiller capable of maintaining an etchant temperature as low as 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The etchant is made from ferric nitrate in a concentration suitable for the intended substrate. A source of deionized water is needed for the rinse. Before CASM's trained technicians walk you through the process, let's cover the etching process in more detail. Step one is to prepare the ferric nitrate solution at a 10% concentration. In step two, verify that the automated wetchet system has inline filtration to 100 microns. For step three, set the etchant solution temperature to a value appropriate for the desired agent model between 75 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit for Agent 1, or between 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit for Agent 10, 30, or 75. The conveyor tracking speed should be set in Step 4 based on the particular agent model being etched. Agent 10, 30, or 75 should be between 6 to 8 feet per minute, and Agent 1 should be 4 feet per minute. The spray nozzle pressure of Step 5 should be set to 20 PSI for the upper nozzles and 10 PSI for the lower nozzles. For step six, both primary and secondary deionizing water rinse nozzle pressures should be set to 10 PSI for the upper and lower nozzles. Film drying in step seven is completed by the upper and lower air knives that remove any excess rinse water drying the films. Following drying, Films can be QC'd for visual defects or other measures such as resistivity, transparency, or haze. Now walking through the process, the 10% ferric nitrate solution is prepared in a mixing vessel. All the process control parameters of the wet processing etcher are then dialed in. The etch temperature, the primary and secondary rinse pressures, the conveyor tracking speed, and dryer air velocities. With all parameters set, Etching of circuits is simply a matter of feeding any cured agent screen printed circuits into the wet processing etcher, then collecting the fully etched circuits from the conveyor as they exit the wet processing etcher. Depending upon the agent model being etched, circuits can be processed in as quickly as three minutes a piece. Circuits are now ready for final QCing and packaging. To learn more about CASM CNT hybrids featuring agent, visit www.chasmtech.com. Chasm Advanced Materials. Your solutions, our materials.